Jim, if you might uh, continue, this is Senate Education on Friday the 25th. We'll continue looking at uh, going through our literacy bill and then we'll return to uh, the revised um, school discipline advisory bill. And so we left off on page nine, uh, powers and duty. And Jim, you probably already know this, that you are muted. I don't think you've even started. I, there we go. I did not know that, thank you. No problem. And that is the one document that I'm showing you. So let me stop that, yeah. sure. And let's find what I'm looking for. Um, S16, yeah, that one there. Okay. Okay, so for the record, uh, Jim Damaray, we are walking through draft 5.1 of S16, uh, your amendment to it. Um, and the changes are highlighted. So let's come down to... Uh, Jim, sorry, yeah. we're, we're still, we're, we're on literacy. Oh, we're on literacy, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, I figured we would just continue on literacy and then we would go back to that. I am sorry. Did My I fault. misspeak? I apologize. You said that. I just thought while we were on. No, you we, spoke. We, you, uh, we could just continue it and then you we were. It. Yeah, you were correct. Um, is that you know, seven? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Why is that so there? Sorry. No problem. Come on. This right here. And let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Show that one. Why are, I'm gonna hold on. So I'm sorry, I have to close that document so we get in the way. No um so let's close S sixteen. Open. Okay. Supposed to go sign way for Miro, so take as much time as you want, Jim. I'm going to use this as a reason that I didn't have to go stand out in the cold for a friend. <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. Oh, it's, that's right. It's, you guys have big elections. Screen two. God, it's confusing. If it's easier, Jim, we can just follow on our uh, iPads. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be this hard, right? So let me try one more time. You're asking the wrong guy. I can... Were we at powers and duties? On... We're at powers and duties, yeah. Page yeah. eight. Page nine, top of page nine, uh, draft 6.1. Okay, I'm having trouble. I'm sorry. Um, no problem at all. No problem at all. Let me uh, try. You can follow along. Uh, we've got draft 6.1 uh, open. Uh, page nine, uh, powers and duties. Probably even easier, Jim, this way. Okay. All right. So I will just go from the written document. Um, okay. Before we okay, powers that, and duties are on the second page. Uh, on to powers and duty, Jim. Yeah, you talked about staggered terms. How do you affect that when everybody starts at once? We'll come come to that. That's okay. the piece of session law we're coming to. Yep, yep. Okay, powers and duties from page nine, uh, line three. Uh, so the council shall advise the agency of education, state board, and general assembly. Uh, how to improve proficiency outcomes and literacy for students in pre-K through grade 12, and how to sustain those outcomes and shall. Um, advise the State Board of Education on how to update the statewide literacy plan required under section 2903, which we just went through earlier, and how to maintain that plan. Two, advise the agency of education on what services the agency should provide to school districts to support implementation of the plan and uh, staffing levels and resources needed at the agency to support the statewide literacy coordinator. Three, develop a plan for collecting literacy-related data 
that informs uh, those student instructional practices, teacher professional development, um, what proficiencies and other skills should be measured through assessments, and how those assessments are incorporated into local assessment plans, and how to identify school progress in achieving literacy outcomes, uh, including closing gaps for historically underserved populations. And lastly, for next page, uh, uh, to review literacy assessments and outcomes and provide ongoing advice as to how, how to continuously improve those outcomes and sustain that improvement. Um, the report is due every year uh, by December 15. And I've added uh, a language at the end saying the report shall contain an executive summary, which shall not exceed two pages. Um, and then F is uh, the meetings. So we, we've added on line 12 that the statewide literacy coordinator at the agency shall serve as uh, at chair of the council, provided that until that position is filled, the council shall select the chair from among its members. Um, then we go on to, to page 11, uh, section 7 is the appropriation of 10,000 um, for the per diem and reimbursement. Section 8 is the agency baking that into their budget requests every year. Uh, section 9 is on implementation of the council. This is a piece of session law to establish the staggering of the terms. Um, so it says, A, the advisory council on uh, is established on August 1 of this year. Members of the council should be appointed on or before that date. And for members with term limits, their service in the council from the date of appointment through the end of this year shall not be counted toward their term limit. The terms go from January 1 of every year to December 31st. So this interim period won't count against them. And then C, next page, in order to stagger the terms of the members of the council, the initial terms of the following members should be for one year. So you two out of the four teachers, one out of the two family members, uh, one out of, out of the two students, and the member appointed by, by the Vermont Legal Aid Disability Law Project. So they'll have one year terms and then, um, uh, and then, that will stagger the, those terms going forward because everybody else has two-year terms. Um, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Section 10 is on the literacy plan. So this requires the state board by December 1st of this year in collabor collaboration with the advisory council uh, to update the statewide literacy plan required under uh, 2903. And next section on page 11 is the teacher prep programs. So um, uh, before December 1 of this year, the agency in collaboration with the Sarans Board shall review teacher prep programs to assess to what extent these programs provide teacher candidates to, you, to use evidence-based literacy instruction. And two, uh, review licensing and relicensing criteria as it pertains to literacy instruction and the evidence-based literacy instruction definition is the same as we used earlier. That came from Chelsea. And then uh, you've got reports from the uh, agency back to you. The first report uh, due by December 15th of this year. Um, I've added that we'll have an executive summary. And the two further reports and two further years out, again, uh, with an executive summary. And that's it. Uh, regarding the executive summary, that was a great discussion yesterday. This center approach that raised the question. Um, in that, that language, where did you end up with uh, getting that language from? I sure because I, I emailed uh, 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 Chrissy and yeah. uh, Stephanie, and they, they weren't aware yeah. no, of that language. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, questions. Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so with that, if uh, I would certainly entertain a motion if we want to move this bill. Uh, 
I'll move it. Okay. Senator Birchlick. Um, makes a motion to move the uh, draft 6.1 of the education literacy teacher training bill, committee bill. Uh, any discussion, comments? Feeling it's comprehensive. Spent a lot of time on it. I think it gets us. It's going to take at least one other stop to appropriations, and it may even, uh, as Senator Lyons mentioned yesterday, have we might even have government ops just put it, their eye on it as well. Uh, seeing no uh, questions, comments, or discussion, uh, Senator Perchlick, uh, would you take the roll? Yes, yeah, so and this is S sixteen, right? Nope, this is the uh, literacy. Literacy. Yep, sorry, this is um, this is a committee bill. So it'll have, it is, what was the draft? Just a, uh, draft 6.1. 6.1. 6 okay, Senator Chittenden. I learned in Green Mountain Boy State, you say I, but everybody else said yes in the last one. So I'm, I'm gonna say <laughs> I, but uh, if you need me to say yes, I can do that. Okay. Senator Hooker. Yes. Senator Lyon. Yes. Senator Terenzini. Yes. Senator Perksick votes aye. <laughs> Chair, Senator Campion. Aye. So that carries a uh, six zero zero and I'm happy to report, but unless somebody else uh, also is eager to. You've been doing all that work with a probes and yeah. Makes a whole good. lot of sense. Feels good. Great. Uh, so Jeannie, I will be the reporter. And I will send you a clean copy after we're done. Okay, great, thanks. Great. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, return to S16, the revised copy, see where uh, senators are, what they're feeling at this point uh, as it relates to School Discipline Advisory Council. Uh, after this, we will move on to uh, having some introductory language on H81 um, and uh, so uh, Jim, if you are ready, I know you have uh, posted new language to S16 draft 5.1. This is an amendment. Do people have that? Yeah? Yes. Okay, great, okay. All right, so I won't screen share. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go through the, the highlight of changes for you. The first change will be on page four. So page four, line seven, uh, it says the task force, force shall make recommendations. So the in collaboration with AOE is gone. Uh, line nine um, now says um, it will compile data, not analyze. Line 18, uh, add school to school administrators. Page five, uh, line eight, again, the task force shall, so it's not in collaboration with AOE. Uh, and then I've added on lines 10 and 11, that um, task force taking into account the Vermont Youth Risk Behavior Survey issued by the Department of Health shall perform the following tasks. And then on page six, um, line five, uh, again, you've got the word compile. Uh, and on line seven, you've got the word compile. And then lastly, I think, on page eight, line two, we have the $15,000 appropriation uh, without the brackets. And that is it. I really like the brackets. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I think we've made some uh, the good change from uh, away from analyze to compile. Uh, this group will 
will meet and hopefully uh, move us in the direction of uh, away from uh, suspensions and expulsions. Uh, in other words, uh, exclusionary discipline practice, disciplinary practices. Senator Chinden, questions, comments, concerns? Okay. Um, is there anything else that anybody would want to do to the bill before uh, we, we move it? Senator Perchlick, anything? Okay. Okay, so I would certainly uh, welcome a motion. Uh, this will go to um, appropriations uh, and uh, possibly may even stop in judiciary. I don't know if uh, judiciary will wanna see it, but it's possible. I move that the committee consider voting on S-16 draft 5.1. Moved by Senator Hooker, uh, draft 5.1 of S-16. Any questions, comments, discussion? Otherwise, uh, Senator Perchlick, uh, would you call the roll, please? Senator Chittenden. Aye. Senator Hooker. Aye. Senator Lyons. Yes. <laughs> Senator Tarantini. No. Senator Perchlick votes yes. Senator Campion. Uh, aye. So is that 510 or 501? 510. 510. Thank you. What does the third zero mean? Uh, if you had not been here, it would have been 501, uh, absent. Uh, can, so. you, can you abstain? Abstaining. The committee? I, great. If, if you, no, because if you're here, it's like being in your seat in the chamber uh, and you can't abstain. The only time you abstain is if you have a, a demonstrated conflict of interest. Good point. Yeah. So, Good point. Yeah. unless you've committed some disciplinary actions in school, can't do it. Uh, anybody interested in reporting school discipline? Advisory Council. Seeing none. Um, do I'll do it if- I, You don't, you, nobody need, has to do anything. I really, I, I, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I can happily uh, do it. It's up to, to you, Senator Hooker. I'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be there right alongside of you 500% uh, of the way and happy to write up and do any edits or anything that you'd like that would be helpful. And, and all of a sudden, if you change your mind between now and when Jeannie emails you, just say, hey, Brian, change my mind. It's all yours. So, okay. Thank you, committee. Um, I think good work, uh, great work.